you think that TRT gets you that extra thing to get you a title shot, or, or what? Um, you know, I put a statement on my website recently about this, uh, and, and, and it's a touchy subject, but well, for me it is anyway, do you know what I mean? I've never, to be honest I'm really not fashion, I'm really old school, you know, I mean all I say really is protein shakes, that's about it, but it turns out that professional athletes these days are doing all kinds of things, you know, that, that I'm really naive to, and TRT is one of those things, and uh, I really don't have the facts about it, so I can't talk about it too much, because as I say I'm, I'm kind of naive, but I don't agree with it at all. You know, if you have a, a low testosterone ratio, that's probably because you've done steroids in the past. Um, we're all talking about Vito Belfort here, obviously. I got kicked in the head. You can't change that. I got kicked in the head, and that's my downfall. You know, and it was my downfall, literally. I went down. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the guy is a steroid cheat. He's been busted for that in the past, and now he's allowed to put steroids into his asshole. You know what I mean? What can I say? You know? He's a fucking chief. <laughs> but I do want to rematch with the guy. I do think that fight was stopped too early. I was completely fine. I went down. You know, listen, that ship sailed. The referee stopped the fight. Fair play to him. Congratulations. You're going to take it like a man. You know, well done. He was a better man on the night. But I was completely fine when I went down. I thought the referee stopped it too soon. And I, I, I didn't believe it. Don't put 1% of the world actually have low testosterone. But for some reason, a shitload of fighters have low testosterone. <laughs> yeah. I'm, right. I'm I don't have low testosterone. I don't need testosterone. I'm a bad type of bastard at the best of times. I don't need that stuff. You know what I mean? It takes day in a while. The night of the fight, I was sat in my hotel room. I, as I said, the job before I was completely fine. I text day in a while. I said, listen, you know, obviously you think that's the plan. Um, I said, but I'm 100% fine and I would love to get back in there ASAP and eradicate that loss. Excuse me. I was just filming a movie out here and uh, it was four days after the fight I believe and, and, and I got a text from my manager, no no a voice note saying, are you ready to get back in the octagon? April 27th and I was like, you know what I said, let's get back in there quick but I didn't think that quick but uh, no absolutely, uh, you know, he said that and I didn't, I, 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 I didn't uh, hesitate and especially when he said Alan Belcher because Alan Belcher has been calling me out for a long long time, um, you know He's got that stupid tattoo on his arm. For, 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 you know, uh, a, a few years ago, Alan Belcher was calling me out. I said, "Listen, man. I said, if you want, if you're looking for a fight, I said, you might want to speak to your tattoo artist because of that abomination on your arm. You know, don't, 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 don't pick a fight with me, mate. That's who you want to fight with. That guy that did that to you." Um, so, uh, so yeah, so Alan Belcher, April 27th. I'm really excited. He's a, he's a good name. He's a good opponent. He thinks he can beat me. He's completely wrong and um, first round TKO I'm telling you now because at the start of my career I, I, I used to knock out a lot of people, I used to KO a lot of people, TKO etc and you know I, I, I think maybe I'm guilty of you know trying to get a little bit too technical these days and for this fight about Belcher I'm giving him absolutely no respect and I'm going straight at this guy and taking him out and uh, you know I want back in the title mix. ASAP, so I didn't get a fight with a fear of losses that come against guys on TRT. And um, funnily enough, the channel has actually become quite a good friend. You know, yeah. it, but he was straight on the phone after this loss uh, to Vito, saying, "You know, he's going to fail his test." Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to go to Oregon to train with him, so I'm probably going to go and do that. Uh, but we're going to train with him a little bit. And um, when I fought Channel, everybody was saying. Oh, the trash talk is going to be immense, you know, and this and that. And Chet was an absolute gentleman. I, I swear to God, he was the nicest guy ever. When the cameras came on, he, you know, he, he put a show on. But, like, sometimes, we, for example, we, we do the conference call. You know, so I'm on the phone, he's on the phone. And in between the reporters being on, he was just the nicest guy ever, asking the questions, talking about the kids and stuff like that. Uh, as soon as the uh, reporters got online, he was like, you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but when they went, he was like, Mike, I really admire what you do, blah, 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 blah. So he's a really, really good guy. He really is, believe me. And I think he's tremendous for the sport. He's a hell of a showman. Uh, would I like a rematch to answer your question? Of course. I want a rematch against anybody that, that beat me. Um, of course, you know. I mean, sure would like to see it. It pains me to say, I couldn't believe it. I was sat in my hotel room after the last fight, and I was like, shit, 24-5, 5. Oh, that 5 doesn't sound nice. I don't like that, you know. 
So, uh, yeah, I, I, I would love to read my CK Well, I mean, I mean, the thing is, this has is show the, the best fighter on the planet, simple mm -hmm. as that, you know. I'm, I, I, I've got so much respect for him. He's amazing. What would I do? I'd go out there and try and fight the guy, simple as that. I don't think you can stand there and say, well, anyone that stands here and says, I've got the game plan, he's it, it, full of shit, you know. The guy is the best in the world. And, and, and he wins, he takes people out, he knocks them out, he submits them, whatever it is, he always finds a way to win, you know. What would I do? I go out there and I give him the best shot, simple as that, you know. I think I present a lot of problems for Anderson. I, <laughs> contrary to what happened in my last fight, I think I'm quite hard to hit. I don't think he'd uh, have an easy time with me. I, I, I think I can take him down. I think that I can... Um, I think I'm beating a little shit quite hard. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's, it, it, it's not easy, it's simple as that. You know, the guy is the best for a guy. He's, uh, he's a phenomenal talent. He really is, believe me, I'm smart with the guy. He's, he's just a great human being, to be quite honest. You know, you know he really is. I, I haven't spoken to him in a while. Uh, we're not as close as what we used to be, obviously. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not with that team anymore, so we don't speak as much as we used to. And uh, I wish him all the best. I don't know what he's got in line next, but you know, as I say, I wish him all the best. Cheers, man. Thank you.